in the course of, of the interview that he did with, uh, with Carlson to come up with facts that are so plainly wrong that everyone knows they're wrong. So people often say it's a great shame that more political leaders don't take an interest in history. But I would say that, I mean, Putin has an obsessive interest in history and I think it's pretty calamitous. I think the world would be in a lot better state if he had no interest in history whatsoever because um, he, he has a particular perspective on history. It's obviously incredibly important to him. It's the great animating principle. It's what led him to invade um, uh, Ukraine. It's what left uh, Tucker Carlson last, you know, in his interview, just kind of gawping and looking bewildered that he's having this interview and here's Putin going on and on about centuries and centuries worth of history. It really, really matters. But it's it's wrong because what Putin is basically doing is the classic thing that people do when they have a particular take on history that matters so much to them that they're going to block out anything else that that, that might obstruct it. He's not he's not looking at it and bearing in mind the possibility that his gut instincts might be wrong. And so the consequence is that he has constructed a myth in which uh, Ukraine has always been a part of Russia and he is illustrating this by going back centuries and centuries and centuries back to the early middle ages so it's a bit like say some the british government suddenly started advancing arguments that ireland should be under british rule because i don't know saint patrick came from britain it's that level of strangeness it's it's notions of, of ethnic identity and of religious identity that are not static. I mean, quite ignoring the kind of imperial dimension to it, the colonial dimension to it. Religious and ethnic identity are not the same in the 21st century as they would have been in the early Middle Ages. And it seems bizarre that a, a political leader should believe that so passionately that he is willing to, to take the steps that Putin has done. And of course, you know, in in the course of of the interview that he did with uh, with Carlson, to come up with facts that are so plainly wrong that everyone knows they're wrong. So when he says that uh, when the the uh, in 1939 when the Germans invaded Poland, the Poles were collaborationists, everyone knows that's wrong. And what makes it even more egregious is that everybody knows who was actually collaborating with the Nazis in the partition of Poland. It wasn't the Poles themselves. It was the Soviet Union, of which Russia is the predominant heir. Uh, and the fact that Putin should play fast and loose with such a well-known uh, part of history, I think just absolutely exemplifies the way in which basic historical fact is being sacrificed on the altar of his no doubt passionately held sense of what history should actually be like, but isn't. Mm -hmm.